Hey everybody, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome to my stop on the Celebrating Rebecca's 1000 Subby Hop today. I'm going to be scrap lifting this layout just because I really like the dynamic of all the different colors of flowers. Obviously, I'm not going to do as many and I'm going to do something a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to use a cut file. So um, that's at least my plan. I'm going to use this adorable family photo of my sister and her husband and her two daughters that we did last fall. But I'm going to do flowers so it won't be very fall themed but it's Hard to tell it's fall except for the plan. So <laughs> we will um, see see how this turns out. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, so I didn't have time to actually do the process video, but I wanted to definitely share um, what I created with Rebecca's awesome layout as inspiration. I went ahead and I used actually, and this is a great way to use these project pads when they have all the solid color um, cardstock kind of cardstock in the back. Um, so I went ahead and used the Paige Evans Wonders uh, paper pad and I took uh, five colors and I cut out um, all the same flowers. I debated using different flowers or not, um, but I decided to do all the same flower. And this is a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. I will have it linked down below. It one, this one is called, uh, and you get actually four different florals, flowers with it. Um, this one's called, doo -doo -doo, let me find it. I had it looked up and then I closed my computer. This is called the Loose Flowers Cut File. So you actually get four different types of flowers. I really decided to go with this one because it reminds me more of like a fall-ish flower. This, these colors are not fall at all. These photos were taken in the fall, but I loved that they had the pink and the blue plaid. And so I thought I'd kind of bring that in. And just, there, it's a bright, sunshiny photo of my sister and her family. So so I went ahead and just cut out, um, I played around on my Silhouette um, software to figure out how many flowers I wanted, what size, and then I just cut out enough for each row in the different colors. I used some, and then I popped them all up on foam just in the center, they're not glued down any other way. And then I went ahead and used, these are just some colored enamel dots um, from Hobby Lobby, you can go and get them. Is it like papery or something like that, or paper? They have a brand there, an off-brand there, and they come in like every rainbow color. I just put those in the center, use some of the stickers from the 12x12 12 12, um, to layer in there. A one tab, just matted my photo in white, um, Use some of the ephemera, used up the ladybugs, and then I had these thickers. I believe they're, these are Hello Joy, it says. Um, American Crafts stickers on the back. So I used Life and the Heart, and then I used the Gold This from the Wonders Project pad, um, just to have Love This Life. And it's just a very nice photo of my sister and her family. So that that is it, but I am so um, happy for Rebecca. She's been really fun to talk to, get to get to know kind of outside um, in the scrappy world, like personally as well. And yeah, I congratulations to her from skyrocketing I feel like we just celebrated her 500 so skyrocketing 500 to a thousand um, I think her mixed media class was a super great idea if you guys haven't checked that out make sure you go to her YouTube channel and check that out you probably all are on her channel already but yes thank you congrats and I was so excited to scrap lift you again so thanks for watching you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll catch you next time bye congrats Rebecca